Hi everyone and welcome again to CodeFix. In today's video, we are going to see how we can solve this emulator issue which says system UI isn't responding. So first of all, there are many reasons why this error occurs, but I'm going to tell you some major issues and their fixes. So starting with the solution, let us quickly open up the Android Studio. Inside the Android Studio, on the top menu bar, you can see Tools. Click on Tools, then click on AVD Manager here. The AVD Manager opens up and lists all the emulators you have created. So the first thing here you can try to do is go to this down arrow button for a particular emulator you have created and just click on Wipe Data and say yes. And now if you just go back to your code editor and try to run this device here, so it's gonna work fine. Now, if it doesn't work for you, again go to Android Studio and inside the AVD Manager only. If you have the device with doesn't have Play Store in it, you can just go to this edit button here and you can see three graphic options here which you can change where first is automatic, hardware and software. So just click on hardware and it chooses how graphics should be rendered in your emulator and just click on finish. So once this is done, you can just go back to your code editor and try to run the emulator. Just note one thing here that this solution works for the devices which doesn't have Play Store in it so like this one here might give you an option for changing the graphics mode but if you click on the device with play store so if i go to edit and try to click here on the graphics option it's not enabled because it's by default or automatically set to an automatic setting for graphics so if this too doesn't work for you the next thing you're gonna try is create a new virtual device and just be sure that you are selecting the correct system architecture. So let us say from the list of these, I select this Nexus 4 or let's say Nexus 5 here, and I'll go to next. And now I'm going to select the system image with the latest API level. So once this is done, just click on next and say finish. So this will create a new virtual device for your system and you won't get any error this time. So these were some major fixes covered in this video which works for most of the cases. If you like the video, please hit the like button and do subscribe to the channel. Thank you.